wow. If you can't tell already, this is what we're gonna get into. The car does this every so often. It doesn't wanna start at all. It has happened four or five times today alone. Need to figure out what is going on. Even if I do the remote start. Here. Although if I do open the hood, I think the shock of it slamming will do some magic. Let's see this. There you go. Here. No luck with the muffler shop because my car is supposedly too low. Oh, well. On top of that, my car won't start. Okay, this is getting really annoying. This, now this is a problem that I really super duper need to address. All right, from this angle, the driveway looks pretty bad. All right, sending it. God, that was bad. That was a literal complete fail. The exhaust is back on the shelf where I guess it belongs. <laughs> I'll get those blast pipes on eventually. I think for now, I ordered some gaskets and today I'll find some bolts to bolt down the exhaust because it's getting pretty annoying. I'll show you guys how it sounds right now. <laughs> While we're already on the topic of exhaust, I'm not too sure what to go with with the 240. Right now it has a stock motor, the KA in it. I know these things could be loud if you straight pipe them, which I don't plan on doing. I wanna at least have a muffler or resonator, but it definitely has to be a custom exhaust because that exhaust tip over there is a universal, so I have to have it done at a shop. If you have any recommendations, I want it slightly quieter than straight piped, not enough to draw attention. So yeah, if you're familiar with these cars, comment down below, please. Well, let's go ahead and go outside to the 240. I wanna show you guys its current exhaust state. It is making my mind go wild. <laughs> Jeez, these past few days it's been pretty hot, but it's good weather. Probably around 70 degrees. 240 is out here filthy as heck. Oh my God. Look at how much built up dirt is on there. I really need to get to detailing this thing because it is in need of it. Where is it? It'll start rattling. Watch. First things first, let's go to Home Depot, get some molten nuts, and I think a hose clamp. Yeah. At least I hope Home Depot has it. This exhaust right now has so much drone, and if I accelerate, you could hear that the exhaust is hitting something. I I don't know exactly what it is, but yeah, very annoying. And keep in mind, I drive this thing every single day, so kind of sucks. Maybe when I was going up a mountain really fast, a bolt fell off. <laughs> that actually could have happened. Got one thing, a hose clamp. Where is this thing? Oh, okay. Took a bit longer to find. 
What? Aisle number five. <laughs> that was fifteen dollars I did not want to spend. This should fix my problem though. Oh man. Yeah. You know what's crazy? This car has started every time today. Uh, the first clips you guys saw in this video didn't start more than five times. I have no idea why. Sometimes it wants to start, sometimes it does. I'm happy that today it does want to though. This is a bad driveway. Oh, oh yes. Wasting no time here, already under the car. Let's see if the nut and bolt will fit. It fits! Yes. Uh, tools make the job easier. Yeah, yeah. Scratch that, I don't have a 17. God, I should have jacked the car higher. Please be able to see, but see that hanger and how much room it has to go up. I am gonna get a hose clamp and clamp that down and see what it does. I definitely need as much clearance as I can get, so anything helps. Found out a brilliant idea. The exhaust is still hitting on the car. My hair is all messed up. Don't mind that. I'm gonna attempt to put this sponge in here so it stops vibrating. There you go. This could be my most stupidest idea in the world. Good thing you can't see the sponge unless you're really looking under. But hey, look. It only makes a little spongy noise and not a clank anymore. Let me set it down on the ground and see how it sounds. Oh, yes. Let's do this thing. I'm gonna start it up. See if there's any rattling. Oh, it sounds so good. That is solid. Oh, yes. Yes, way less drone. It sounds so much better. Going on bumps without it clanking anymore. This is the bottom. Eh, it, all, it gave me like another half an inch, but I got the wrong size hose clamp, so I could probably get another inch out of this. Exhaust was kind of loud, essentially it worked, just not to its best ability. It'll work for now though. Literally the exhaust sounds way better. It's not making, it's not giving me a headache every time I drive it and it scrapes way less, at least from driving around the block. Yeah, I like it. If you are wondering, this is the ISR GT single exit exhaust. Sounds all right. I mean, I'd get the blast pipes they offer. That sponge definitely helped out. I was looking around for a hose in the garage to like wrap around the hanger. Uh, couldn't find one, so I zip tied a sponge on. Right here, I would hear the exhaust. Pretty good. Let's do this. Another thing is my hatch doesn't stay open, so I have to get something to hold it up. I'm gonna replace these shocks, and that will do the trick so I don't have to struggle getting my skateboard out to go to work. This is all the way up, and I'm gonna let go. Yeah! This thing ain't light either. <laughs> For sure. I can't change you, so I must replace you. It's 
Look at even doing one keeps it up so good. What the hell? Jeez, man. I got this one off and that one is still holding the whole hatch up. I feel like that's pretty impressive. Wow. As you can see, these old ones are, you have to screw them in and you can't release it from like the ball. I guess you would say a joint. With the new ones, you have this, you have this function where you could pop this open and then it allows you to put the ball into here. So you don't have to unscrew it with the shock in place. Like right here, all you need to do is screw it in instead of having the whole assembly together. Man, this is a whole lot of me doing some little stuff here and there but this car is in need of uh, decontamination i'm gonna spray some carpool x on it look at all that oh my god this stuff that i'm putting on it will help get stuff off without actually doing anything you let it do all the work this is some expensive ass stuff i'm gonna be spraying it and then do a touchless wash someone's about to shoot my car that's the whole reason why i'm doing this This stuff literally does magic to your car. I used the whole bottle on this thing, but it is doing all of the work, getting decontaminants off without me doing any work. I'm allowed to sit for about five minutes, hit it with a foam cannon. This thing is such a beaut though. Oh wow. I've never seen it clean. I've been dancing with the guys and stumbling. 